what is good friends it's your boy 44 mike back with another one in this video i'm asking you would you be interested to enhance your base durability on demand of course you would this video is about that i'm gonna learn you a trick a simple trick how to increase your base durability and before you suspect that this video is about the fortify walls the advanced city defense or even the buffs well you're wrong it's not about any of those the answer is simple it's about the officers i know I know you know those officers from A to Z, but you may be using them wrong. It's how about you manage them. It's very easy. I'm going to learn you this trick so you can apply it when your base is about to get siege. And I guarantee you, you will notice a difference. Stick with me. We're going to talk about that right now. For Vox, when the troop is garrisoned in your base, increases the damage resist of your base by 30% for 8 seconds. When Steel Fighter is garrisoned in your base, she increases the officer skill resilience of your base by 30%. When Uncle Ivankov is garrisoned in your base, he increases the officer skill resilience of your base by 40% and the base HP recovery by 5%. When Torn Contest is garrisoned in a base, any shield the troop gains from its officer skill is increased by 15% and can be used by the base. The base normal attack resilience is also increased by 10%. So now you're asking, what is the trick here? You have five protection officers and only 10 slots in your army. And I'm sure that you want to assign some offensive officers, artillery officers, because, well, most of the time you fight on the field. I know that. That is the trick. So keep following here. What you want to do is you want to make, you want to create two teams. One team for your field fighting and another team when your base is about to get siege. So how you're going to work this is, if you take my example, I have my 10 slots, 10 officers assigned already. For my light tank, I have Steel Phoenix and Rapier. For my main battle tank, I have Madame Havoc and Lord of Order. If the battlefield is really busy, there's a lot of army groups, it's a huge battle, I will probably assign Uncle Ivankov instead of Madame Havoc for added protection. And for my howitzers, well, those officers usually stay the same unless I will focus on base burning. But let's pretend this is my go-to field fighting setup. This is my first team when I fight on the field i mostly use those officers okay now my second team and this is important that you already plan this in your head so when the shit is about to hit the fan you will know which officers you assign for which slot because when uh, you are under time or you are stressed out you don't want to panic and do some sort of mistake you want to be sure to apply the plan okay so let's say that my base is about to get siege. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch uh, Steel Phoenix for Vox deploy. And I will put as an aide, I will put Uncle right there. Then I will come back and assign Steel Fighter as a captain. And I will assign Torn Countess as an aide. Why do I sign those two together? Well, since uh, Torn Countess, she enhanced the shield of uh, the other officer, I will enhance the best shield in the game, the best shield officer in the game. As a uh, steel fighter, she has the best shield, 2000 coefficient for five seconds. I want to enhance that shield, especially when it applies to the base. Okay, so this will be my setup when my base is about to get siege. Now, now you saw me, I replaced an officer instead of removing an officer and assigning a new one. Why you replace instead of removing 
anything and replace well the answer is simple if you remove an officer and just before you assign a new hero your base is getting siege then the troop will be busy fighting and you won't be able to assign an officer it's not the end of the world when your base is getting sieged that you have the wrong officer but it sucks to have no officer for that troop so you can reduce the risk simply by switching officer rather than removing and assigning so now that your base is getting siege, you let your base do its magic and hopefully you will survive this siege. Of course, there is no guarantee, but by assigning those uh, protection officer, you will enhance your base durability and increase the uh, skill resilience from officer skill that will help you survive the siege. Hopefully it does. When your base is cooling down and all the enemy died, then you can combat your field fighting. Remember, this trick is to help you increase your base durability, help you killing more enemy attacking your base. If you kill more enemies, you deal more damage and you deplete the enemy's reserves. So hopefully, this trick will help you uh, enjoy the siege a little bit better and hopefully your base can survive if it does if you like this trick or maybe if you think you have a better lineup for either field fighting or against a siege let me know in the comments uh, I know maybe not everyone have the same officers as I do of course I've been playing this game for a long time now and just keep playing um, gradually you will unlock new officers and this way you don't have to make a compromise you don't have to play this game uh, feel fighting with all protection officers this is not efficient and uh, when your base is getting sieged then you are ready to uh, getting attacked if this trick helped you let me know uh, your feedback is much appreciated until then I'll catch you on the next one see ya